Lake Maxinkaki has three notable constructed wetlands that have been the driving force for the excellent water quality of the lake since their construction in the late 1980s and early 1990s, the Klein, the Curtis, and the Wilson. Built in 1992, the Klein wetland encompasses an 80-acre tract of land that sits at the head of a floodplain. This wetland is the hardest working of the three. It handles drainage for more than 1,900 acres, stretching to the east and south of the lake. The Klein plays host to a variety of wildlife. It provides fertile hunting grounds for sportsmen as well as a quiet solitude for those seeking to simply observe nature. The levee at the Klein wetland, an integral structural component, is now 28 years old and well past its lifespan. It has been breached eight times in the past five years, each breach larger than the last. Repair was no longer an option and plans were made for reconstruction at an estimated cost of $430,000. The Lake Maxinkucky Environmental Fund undertook a grant writing and fundraising campaign to help pay for the project. A grant from Lake and River Enhancement and commitments from the Town of Culver and its Redevelopment Commission covered approximately 50% of the project. Other smaller grants were secured and the remaining funds were raised in private gifts from lakefront property owners. Construction began in the fall of 2019. Soil for the levee was donated from a nearby farmer, a longtime supporter of Lake Maxinkucky, in exchange for the construction of a farm pond. This was a great financial benefit to the project. At the end of November, however, it became obvious that there was a problem. At the site of the breaches, the soil was settling at a pace much different than the surrounding area. This put the project on hold until additional soil borings could be taken. In addition, the mild winter did not allow the ground to freeze and the heavy equipment could not navigate in the mud. Construction was stopped until conditions would improve in the spring of 2020. After significant delays due to weather and the unprecedented pandemic, in June of 2020, construction resumed. With the project complete, the Klein wetland can once again function as designed. The slow flows and shallow water depths allow sediment to settle as the water passes through. The complex mass of organic and inorganic materials and the diverse opportunities for gas and water interchanges foster a diverse community of microorganisms that break down or transform a wide variety of substances. The Klein wetland canal improve the water quality of Lake Maxinkucky by removing nutrients and other pollutants from the water, provide habitat for fish and wildlife, allow for passive recreation such as bird watching and photography, and active recreation such as hunting, as well as serve as an education and research site, all while providing natural beauty. In the words of Teddy Roosevelt, the nation behaves well if it treats the natural resources as assets which it must turn over to the next generation increased 
and not impaired in value. Lake Maxinkucky Environmental Fund, in collaboration with multiple partners, recognizes the value of this natural resource and continues working towards the preservation of an ecologically sound lake and surrounding watershed. Thank you to everyone who helps make this possible. Thank you.